I'm Caleb Brooks with the AHSAA Radio Network. I'm at Selma High School, joined by Keandre Hope, quarterback here for the Selma Saints. And uh, Keandre, first of all, man, thanks for taking the time to join me today. I was talking to uh, you know your new coach, and he said that you guys are pretty much done with summer workouts now and shifting gears, getting ready for practice next week. Man, how excited are you to get out there and pad up and, and actually go out and play real football? I don't know. It, it ain't no, it ain't no other feeling like it for real. It just, yeah, like when I'm on the field, that clear my mind from everything. You know, as the quarterback of the team, you're kind of looked at as a leader of this group. You know, you're, you're the leader of the offense. How much pressure is on you to make sure that everything's going right on the offensive side of the ball and that people know what their job is? Uh, it, it, it's a lot, but like my team, they they basically know what they're doing for real. Everybody know what they're doing unless like it's their first year playing. So it ain't it really hard for real. You know, um, you got a first year head coach, new coach Willie Gandy, and, and you know, how excited are you guys to play for a new coach and, and to have, you know, some new blood in the program and, you know, kind of have a fresh start with him? Uh, it, it feel good because, like, around the city, everybody's saying they're good coaches. They made it to the championship a lot. Uh, I like the end too. Like, they pushing us to be great. They scratching us to be in shape, stuff like that. You know, for you guys last year, three and seven record, but you know, like I was telling you earlier, I didn't feel like when I watched you guys that y'all were a three and seven team. I just think that y'all ran into some really good teams. What were your thoughts on last year and the way that last year went for you personally and as a team? Uh, for me, it, it, I looked at it as like everybody went playing together, for real. Like everybody was doing their own thing. Everybody wanted to be the coach, for real, for real, until like the mid mid season. They were near thing came together. So what are some of the things that you guys are kind of doing this offseason to make sure that your team is a little bit more together and that you are playing as a team and not playing individually? Uh, we're, we're pract we're, we are practicing on everybody just being quiet to the coaches talk. You know, and, and for a place like this, you know, uh, like Jeremiah mentioned, you guys haven't been to the playoffs in a while. So how much would it mean to you guys to just get a berth this year and to have the opportunity to go play in the postseason? Uh, it, it would feel good because I did my first time experience and something like that. What do you think that, you know, how do you feel that that experience would be like to, to you know, be one of the first teams here at Selma that, that has played in the playoffs in a long time? Uh, I think it would be good because, like, it would get, like, everybody's attention would be on us for real, for real. And, you know, I was talking to some coaches that were from this area yesterday, and they, they really talked well about your group and, and your team. I mean, they, they really feel like this year this team can really flip the script and, and instead of being 3-7, and 7-3, seven, seven and 8-2, and two, something like that, mm -hmm. do you feel like, you know, that can you kind of see what those coaches are seeing with this group coming back? Yes, yeah, sir. Everybody, like, everybody get, got to know each other. So everybody comfortable with each other now. So I think it could be a good season. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to join me, man. Uh, good luck to you as you enter into this next year. Look forward to seeing you guys later on this season and uh, you know seeing what you guys look like out there. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.